The story of the Faithful Wookiee is basically the same quality as the Star Wars Holiday Special. To be honest, I have a slight soft spot for the Holiday Special, not because I think it's brilliant, because it's more so because I like how cheesy it is. The Faithful Wookiee is not the best animated, the quality is not the greatest, but honestly, part of me kind of enjoyed it because it was easy to follow. I rolled my eyes a few times at some of the cheesy dialogue, but I actually had fun with it. And that's kind of the same reception I had with the holiday special. This was released, of course, in 1978, directed by David A. Comba. And we have primarily Chewbacca, um, but a lot of the other characters are also in this. Very briefly, not as much as I would have liked, um, Carrie Fisher does have a few lines as Princess Leia um, and it's all about uh, well it's all about Boba Fett and it's apparently the first on-screen appearance of Boba Fett now this is not the first time obviously not the first time I've seen the character of Boba Fett but I'd be very curious to know if you saw this when it was when it when it aired or if this was the first time you saw Boba Fett what did you think of the character did he go on to be what you expected I'd be very curious to know because obviously your perception of the character will be very different from mine. But Luke and R2 and 3PO go and try and find Chewbacca um, because something seems amiss. And while they're doing that, they come across Boba Fett, who refers to them as friends. And straight away, Boba Fett is trying to be so friendly that you know something is amiss. And part of me thinks, should I say who Boba Fett is, what he is revealed to be? I feel like by this stage everybody knows who Boba Fett is and what he is, bounty hunter, and what his role is. Um, but basically, Luke is slightly convinced that he is a good person, but not entirely, and I won't say any more than that. I can't say any more about the narrative without ruining it, because it's not overly long. It's about six or seven minutes and I'm not going to say that it's a good narrative. I don't think it's that well developed. I think the dialogue is quite cheesy, and I like cheesy, but I don't think that's what they were going for. I don't think that's the effect they were trying to create. I liked how it fitted in with the holiday special, with it being something the Wookiee was watching. I think that made a lot of sense. Um, gave it a, you know, when it's within context, I think there's a deeper appreciation for it. But honestly, I found it fun in a cheesy way. I didn't think it was gripping or compelling. Maybe if I hadn't known who Boba Fett was, I might think differently. The animation quality is not that great. It's not terrible, but certainly the characters don't really look like their live action versions. Recognisable enough, but you know, it's not a great job. It's not terrible, but I wouldn't say it's a good animation. If you're a fan of Star Wars, by all means, watch it if you haven't seen it and certainly if you haven't seen the holiday special give it a watch because it's it's fun for i think all of the wrong reasons i really liked of course having carrie fisher voicing briefly in this because i am madly in love with her and having the rest of the original cast uh, or the majority of the original cast voicing as well was um, something that was obviously beneficial the story of the faithful wookie is not a great story it's not a particularly well animated story but if you don't take it seriously you can probably have some fun with it.